over 40 years, I've been using a systematic approach to playing pool, kicking up balls, banking balls. And I want to explain a little bit now about how to calculate both diamonds and diamond segments on a pool table. If you look in this corner here, we have two cushions coming together to a point here where the one ball is. So this would be considered the first diamond. Now, some systems, they'll call this the number one. Some will give it a different name based upon the system we're using. I have over 40 systems that I teach, but just generically, these are going to be the countings of the number of diamonds on a pool table. We have one in the corner where the two cushions meet. We go up the rail, we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine diamonds up and down the table. If you notice here at the side pocket, we have a diamond, basically it's the fifth diamond in this row, and it's in line with all these other diamonds. That's very, very important to put that diamond in the right order there, right down the middle in a straight line. And over on this side, we have, going the width of the table, we have one diamond in the corner, two, three, four, five. And again, this one is where the two cushions meet. So what you've got here is a relationship of two to one. Even though it isn't eight to four, it's nine to five, there is a relationship of two to one based upon the segments. These are the diamonds. Now we're going to show you the segments. A segment is the distance between two connecting diamonds. For instance, we have between the two and the three, we have a distance here which is called a segment. Between the three and the four is a segment. Between the four and the two, there's two segments. And if you look over here, between the four and the six, we have two segments, and it's illustrated here by the chalk, so you can actually see a full segment there. One other situation would be as if this four ball were, let's say, starting between two diamonds, and the other one was there, that would be a segment here. So there are, there are multiple segments going up and down a rail, which is exactly the width of the ball from one diamond to another. So this is an example of how you actually apply numbering to the pool table as far as generically. Nine diamonds going the length of the table, five diamonds going the width of the table, and the segments, we have eight segments. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And going the width of the table, we have one segment, two segments, three segments, four segments. So that's the perfect rectangle of a pool table. Whether you're on a six-foot table, seven-foot table, three different sizes, eight-foot, two different sizes, nine-foot, Snooker, pyramid tables over in Europe, all those different tables. If the length is twice the width, you can use the diamond system steady, and that's what we're going to have a lot of fun with over the next few segments. So enjoy it, according to Dr. Q. You don't have to play like a pro to enjoy the game I love. If you've ever played in a friend's basement, you can compete in an APA league. In the APA, Everyone can play and anyone can win. So if you're looking for a fun night out with your friends and family, join an APA Pool League today. Have fun, meet people, play pool. Visit poolplayers.com today.